Mila and, and Lena's way. Hey y'all, what's up? It's me, Lena. I am back with a series premiere, a new ABC series premiere called The Mayor. Guys, this is a really late review, but I still want to review because it is a new show and it is a really good show. I actually really like this series premiere. Mila's not here because Mila, Mila watched it, but she's just not here. Hmm. Show stars Brandon Michael Hall as Courtney Rolls. I hope that's how you pronounce his middle name. But he played Courtney Rolls, the protagonist of the series, and the new mayor of the his city, Fort Gray. It is set in Northern California. Leah Michelle, she plays Valentina, the now mayoral manager for Courtney, who is his former classmate. Leah Michelle got a new show. Guys, she, she was on Screen Queens, but then that wasn't on no more, so now she got a new show. And I actually really do like her acting, and I do like her on here. And I think that all of the characters on here are really funny. Bernard David Jones as Jermaine LaForge, Courtney's best friend. Marcel Spears as TK Clifton, Courtney's best friend or oh, I, I thought it was his best friend but then he mentioned that Courtney's mom was like his mom so I didn't know if they was brothers or not. Yvette Nicole Brown as Dina Rose, Courtney's mother. Guys, Yvette Nicole Brown, she is amazing. Like anything she's really in, I always watch. I've always loved her since she was on Drake and Josh and before that. It was stuff she was on before that, but I mainly when I first started really, really seeing her was on when I started watching Drake and Josh, but Everything that she's been on, I've been always been watching because I just think she's so funny and she's a really good actress also. So if y'all don't know who Yvette Nicole Brown is, you play it yourself. Multiple guests, the VDs, he played Mac, etc. He was actually on this episode also. David Spade as Ed Gunt, Courtney's rival in the election. So basically, what on this show is Courtney, he's a rapper and he wants to become a rapper and he wants to get more SoundCloud views. He wants, you know, everybody would watch him and see what he's doing and this and that. So he wanted some attention. So he thought he would run for mayor for his city. Come to find out he won because he was speaking the truth how the mayor before or everybody else before the this mayor, him, how was saying, oh, we're going to change the city, we're going to change the city, and they didn't do anything. So, you know, I just want some views. But then he ended up winning, and it was funny when he ended up winning because they was like, you just won. But before that, he had went to go wash his hands, and he was like, where is the antibacterial soap? And he was like, wait, why isn't all soap antibacterial? Which is a good point. I don't know why all soap isn't antibacterial. I don't know. But yeah, so the whole show is basically he wanted to get views and he ended up becoming the mayor. And at first he was like, wow, okay. Okay, and Valentina, she was doubting him. She was like, oh my god, you know, you're not going to do this, you're not going to do that. But he actually started doing stuff. It was a certain spot in the city where he, say, him and his friends when they was young used to go play. And it was all dirty because it was this little boy that he was playing around. He's like, what you doing? He's like, just playing around this trash, little trash area. And he's like, man, I would clean this up. So when he was at the little debate, you know, everybody was like, woo, woo. You know, they was really excited because he was speaking the truth. He was saying how, days y'all think what y'all, y'all say what we need, but you don't know what we need because you don't even live here. Which is so true with a lot of places and a lot of cities. A lot of people who, like, run for mayor or win for governor or whatever, they don't be knowing what's really going on in the city. And they just, like, they just there to be mayor and stuff, just to be the governor and the mayor. So, it was true what he was saying about that, and then that's when he won, and he actually had a cool little get-together. They had the permit, everything was all set up, but then he went to the open mic night, and he heard that his favorite rapper, Mac, etc., was going there, and they needed somebody to fill in. So, he was like, oh my god, I want to fill in. So, he left. Valentino was upset. The police came in there, and Dina got arrested because she was like, try me, try to arrest me, and they did. And Courtney eventually, they, she eventually got bailed out, and Courtney was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And I was like, your disappointment. But then Dina was like, look, I'm your mama. I'm stuck with you 24-7 and everything. I'm always going to support you. Everybody else, they might not support you. And she's like, I will always believe in you, but not everybody else will. You got to make them believe in you. So he went all day and all night. He said he did it by himself. He did not. He went and cleaned up the area, put potted plants, you know, this and that. It was all pretty and cute and cool. It was just so nice what he did. And he was like, I did it all by myself. And it's like, then who's that kid back there? And he was like, um, nobody. I don't even know that person. Don't know. But the kid was actually back there digging the holes for him. But yeah, so Val, she ended up noticing. She's like, hmm, maybe you're not hopeless. You know, maybe you cool or whatever. I don't know if I like you. But it was like a, like a happy ending. And they was really going to get to work. And I'm really excited to see what is going on. When, at the end, when they had made the little, um, the little sticky note thing with all her sticky notes with all her index cards and they were supposed, was supposed to be using her index cards they made a little uh, his face with like a little hat on it and this honestly this would I feel like this was kind of like I know it probably wasn't but I feel like this is a kind of like based off of like Chance the Rapper being mayor because everybody's like you know Chance for mayor and I just feel like like this could be how it like would be if he was mayor like bruh a rapper that's a mayor like I think that this would be how it would be like I don't know I just feel like Courtney Chance like 
what's the odds of the names worth being C? Like, I would, I would want Chance to be mayor. I don't even live in Chicago no more, but I'm from there. So I was like, that would be like, this is how it would be. So, like, I like the show. I think it's just really funny. And I'm really excited to see the next episode and see how it goes. Like, see how it progresses, what different storylines we're going to get, and this and that. I'm not going to get a lot of different political storylines. But, like, how's it going to go? How's the characters going to develop? Are they going to make Val and Courtney a thing? Because, you know, they always do that with the female and male lead. Always make them a thing. So, I don't know. Maybe they shouldn't on this show. Maybe they should keep it kind of different. But I do like the show. I'm really excited. I'm glad this is on ABC. I really hope it get renewed or something. I know it's kind of early to say that, but I do really hope it get renewed. Because a lot of shows on ABC, if it's not... Shonda Rhimes or something like that, it is not going to be on, so hopefully get renewed, because, I don't know, we need something different on ABC, all we got is, like, like, I love Blackish a lot, so, like, we got Blackish, and then we got, like, Scandal, you know, Grey's Anatomy, How Do You Remember It, even though I didn't watch any of those three shows, I only watched Blackish, um, we got that, but I feel like we need some more different type shows, maybe for, like, the younger audience, but, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment your thoughts on this show. Guys, we got the mayor. It comes on Tuesdays, if I'm correct. Don't forget to follow me on my social medias, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Don't forget to be on the checkout for all the other videos, because I got some new reviews coming up. Ah.